Is guest posting footprints a thing in non-English SEO? Yes. Um, so, you know, any kind of website that can be used um, to manipulate um, data uh, can have potential footprints. When we're talking about that, typically we think about um, the obvious ones, which are PBNs, right? And so a footprint on a PBN would be using all the same plugins across multiple sites that link back to the same sites or the same themes or having similar, you know, issues like that. Um, even things that are hidden within, within code, um, you know, can pop off as a footprint and it's going to get your PBND indexed on a different level, which is guest posts. We'll see that, especially when, you know, we're considering guest posts that are sort of guest post farms. So the type of um, guest posts we were talking about earlier, uh, you'll find stuff like that on Fiverr a whole lot where a bunch of the same vendors have access to all these same sites and the entire purpose of the sites is to um, sell guest posts. They're, they're, they're not very healthy, um, you know, and so footprints there become the clients that use and abuse all these websites over and over and over again and are buying a lot of these um, farmed guest posts. Um, and so the main thing with guest posting footprints is also if you're buying from networks that aren't too big um, and these webmasters are allowing those networks to sell a lot of the same uh, websites positions on their blog over time that's going to register as a footprint to google that something's being manipulated here it's too much overlap um, and in turn, it shows that this website network is centralized in some way, shape, or form. What would you think about guest post footprints or footprints in general on English for English SERPs versus foreign, non-English SERPs? I guess it depends on how much uh, data Google has within that language. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't do a bunch of foreign SEO, um, but I've heard... I've heard from people that do do it that things are a little bit more lax. Yeah, for some reason um, I thought this was English. Okay, yeah. You, you know, you can, you can get away with more. Mm -hmm. um, so are footprints still a thing? Yes. Um, it might. It probably just doesn't matter quite as much than if you're going after English, uh, English keywords, English SERPs. Yeah, or any of the bigger SERPs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say footprints are always a thing, right? But it's just, it's going to be determinable by, um, you know, whether Google can catch that, uh, I guess, within that language. So things like plugins, et cetera, would still be considered. Um, and then still things like pointing to the same website would still be considered too. Yeah. You know, so yeah, footprints are, I mean, they're always yeah. going to be a thing, right? You know, if you're, if you're really, um, if you're really on a budget, um, you know, I don't. I don't want to tell you to just go after you know, a bunch of the link farm stuff, but it's possible that you can get away with more of it doing foreign SEO than than English SEO. But I, I would still keep it in mind, and um, you know, in general, go after stuff uh, without these kind of footprints. Try to just have things look as natural as possible, right? Mm. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!